So, in this top 10 Fallout 76 video, I'll be covering 10 different weapons that we can no longer get as drops or from the purveyor. Bethesda completely removed these effects to drop with these specific weapons that I'll be covering from the game due to them being really powerful and broken. In the previous Fallout 76 top 10 video, I covered legendary weapons that are nearly impossible to get. However, we can still get them as drops or from the purveyor. Actually, some of them you can only specifically get from the purveyor. Some of the weapons that I covered in the video are the bloodied faster swing speed bear arm, the bloodied fixer, and the quad faster fire rate gamma gun, which absolutely destroys bloodied builds within PvP because of how much radiation it deals out. And I also covered much more in that video. There are some extremely rare ones within it. In case you're interested, I'll have a link in the description to it. Feel free to check it out after you're done watching this one. Or heck, maybe even before before you watch this. It all depends on what you want to do. Anyways, the only way that you can get these weapons I'm going to be showcasing within this one is by trading with other players who manage to keep them after Bethesda removed these effects from Fallout 76. These weapons are otherwise known as the legacy weapons. For example, this explosive flamer is considered a legacy weapon. The reason why is because this is technically considered an energy weapon, and energy weapons are not supposed to have explosive perks on them. Now this is just a small sample. I'm actually going to be covering a more rare flamer further in this video so stay tuned for that but yeah now let's go ahead and get into this hopefully you'll find this enjoyable it did take quite some time to put together and find people who had these weapons if you find this enjoyable by the way consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like enjoy everyone all right so i'm gonna start this off with my least favorite out of this selection but it still can pack a punch and it's extremely rare to get your hands on and that is the two-shot explosive tesla rifle in case you don't know, any explosive energy weapon is considered a legacy weapon. Bethesda removed these as a drop from the game back on January 29th of 2019. As you can see here in the patch notes, it was added within the weapons category. Flamers, cryolators, plasma weapons, and laser weapons can no longer spawn with the explosive legendary mod. And a developer note was added saying the explosive mod caused weapons to fire bullets that are, well, explosive. The weapons listed above don't technically fire bullets, so we've temporarily removed the ability for them to spawn with that mod applied so we can make adjustments. And so far, since the date of them removing these from the game, they have not officially added them back in. So I'm not exactly sure if they ever plan on re-adding these back in the game. I don't think they are if it's been this long. Who knows what the future has in store though. But yeah, that's the reason why Bethesda decided to remove these. It didn't really make much sense firing them. As you can see here for an example, what makes the Tesla rifle so special is that it shoots electricity that chains to other enemies. However, when you're shooting this explosive Tesla rifle, it's not. It's just shooting explosive bullets, it seems like. But they do have that radius damage effect, so I guess that's a plus. I was debating on even adding this into the list because it's my least favorite out of them all, but it's still considered a legacy weapon. So on that note, it's extremely rare, and it is worth quite a bit in the game. The only way we can get these kind of weapons anymore is by trading with other players who manage to keep a hold of them. Okay, so next up here on the list, I have for y'all a bloodied explosive Gauss rifle. It also has 90% reduced weight, which is pretty handy with a heavy weapon like this. As you can see, this can seriously pack a punch. I'm dealing at the moment 1,616 damage per shot with this. This weapon isn't as good for crowd control because it doesn't shoot as fast, but it's definitely a tank killer. It can take out some heavily armored enemies pretty quickly, especially if you have a solid VAT sneak build. As you saw, it took out that fog crawler pretty swiftly, Here's an example of it going up against a level 91 glowing death claw. Takes just two shots, and bada bing, bada boom, it's dead. And I didn't even land the sneak hit on it, or I would have took it out in one hit. So, yeah, overall, definitely a pretty solid weapon. This next one, however, is absolutely amazing for crowd control. As you can see, I have for you all a quad-tuned automatic ultra sight laser rifle with 90% reduced weight. Check out all these ghouls I was able to take out easily with one mag within the Charleston Capitol building. Yeah, it's ridiculous how much this thing shreds. The only downfall about this weapon is that it can break pretty easy over time. But overall, an extremely solid and rare weapon. Okay, so next up here I'm going to be going over a double ammo capacity weapon. 
which all the double ammo capacity weapons that I'm going to be showcasing in this video was brought to you by one of my buddies who is a weapon collector on Xbox One. Like, I'd basically describe this guy as an arms dealer in Fallout 76. He has so many weapons that he trades. If you're in search of something, I highly suggest shooting him a message. As you can see, his gamer tag is goodfella for life 8 <laughs> More than likely, he has what you're searching for. I mean, just look at his inventory for Pete's sake. Sheesh. And keep in mind, double ammo capacity is more rare than just your regular old energy explosive legacy weapon. The reason why is because the effect was actually removed from the game before the explosive energies. These were actually removed from the game as an effect to be dropped around the beginning of the game. I'm not exactly sure on the date, however. I know, once again, it was definitely before Patch 5, and that's when they officially removed the explosive energy weapons. So it was sometime very early when Bethesda decided this effect will no longer be available on weapons as a drop. I know it was definitely before the Purveyor ever became in existence, too. But yeah, the first one that I'm going to be starting off with is another laser rifle. It's pretty much the same thing that I just went over, except it's not quad, nor is it ultrasight. As you can see, it's a double gamma wave automatic laser rifle. Perks on it are double ammo capacity, of course, bullets explode for area damage, and plus one to perception. Now, this weapon has technically two perks that are completely removed from the game as part of the RNG loot table to get as a drop. So that's what makes this even more rare compared to the quad explosive ultrasight laser rifle. And yes, I know technically the quad effect on a weapon does allow you to carry more ammunition within it compared to the double ammo capacity one. As you can see here, for instance, I have 114 rounds in this quad laser rifle, and in a double one, I have 57. So technically, the quad can deal out more damage over time, but still, the double ammo capacity plus the explosive rounds on the laser rifle makes it more valuable just because there is, once again, two effects on the weapon that we can't get. And even if sometime in the future the quad effect gets removed, moved from the game, the double ammo capacity effect on a weapon will still be worth more because there were less people that managed to get their hands on them. Like I mentioned before, these were taken out very, very early in the game. So there's not as many of these around. And even if you do find a player with one of these, more than likely that player isn't going to give it up just because they know there's not that many around in the game anymore. They are extremely valuable now. So next up here, I have for you a double ammo capacity minigun with bullets explode for area damage. I'll go ahead and let the footage speak for itself on how good this weapon is. This thing can hold 999 rounds before you have to reload it. You can do so much damage quickly over time. I mean, just check this out for an example going up against the Scorch Beast Queen with it. I managed to take out the Scorch Beast Queen before I had to even reload this once. You know what, just for some proof, I'll go ahead and fast forward this just to show you all how fast it did melt the Scorch Beast Queen. This weapon does a ridiculous amount of damage over time because it takes so long until you have to reload it. I mean, as you can see, I'm just draining the Queen's health. By the way, just thought I'd mention this real quick, this doesn't count toward the list, but the double Gatlin laser is a pointless weapon to have the double ammo capacity effect on. And the reason why is because fusion cores have a max capacity of 500. So the double effect doesn't even work with this Gatlin laser. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Sure, it's a really rare weapon to see, but it's pointless. Okay, so next up here I have you a double ammo capacity explosive flamer. Also, it has plus 50 damage resistance while aiming, which is a pretty solid third perk. But the other effects on this, once again, Bethesda completely removed out of the game. So that's what makes this even more rare. It has two effects on this one weapon that we can no longer get as a drop in Fallout 76. Just like the laser rifle that I went over previously. Except this one is way more rare than that laser rifle. And this weapon is not only rare, but insanely powerful. You know how typically when you use a flamer, it only has a certain amount of range with it? If you have explosive rounds though on it, it shoots like it's a minigun. Check this out. So yeah, not only is this doing explosive damage to the enemies, it's also catching the enemies on fire due to it being a flamer. And not to mention the 300 fuel that it starts off with since it has double ammo capacity on it. It's great for crowd control, and it's great for taking out heavily armored enemies too. I mean, here's an example of it going up against the Scorch Beast Queen. Sorry for the little bit of lag spikes that I was getting because someone was using the Strangler Heart Power Armor here, 
And unfortunately, Bethesda has not fixed that yet. They do plan on fixing that, however, when Wastelanders officially releases. But yeah, as you can see, it is just annihilating the Scorch Beast Queen. You can just see how much this weapon is draining its health. I told you, this thing is insanely powerful. And not to mention, extremely rare. More than likely, here on this video, is the only footage that you're going to be seeing of this flamer. Heck, to be real with y'all, at the moment, there's no videos over double ammo capacity weapons in general. So, you're seeing them firsthand here on this video. Unless, perhaps, that is, you have one yourself. Okay, so next up here on the list, I have for you a two-shot explosive cryolator. Now, this weapon isn't nearly as powerful as the other weapons that I've showcased in this video. However, it is pretty beneficial if you're going up against the Scorch Beast Queen or the Imposter Sheep Squatch. The reason why is because it can slow down enemies tremendously, and it works just like the flamethrower. You don't have to be super close to the enemy. As you can see, it fires like it's actually shooting bullets at them. Except these bullets are, of course, explosive, and it has a chance at freezing the enemy. And since this is a two-shot cryolator, it has an even higher chance at slowing down the enemies. Once again, very beneficial going up against powerful foes. Now, this eighth legacy weapon that I'll be showcasing in this video is for all you tank builds out there. You're going to absolutely love this one. As you can see, I have for you a Vampire's Explosive Plus One Agility Plasma Gatling Gun. This thing is incredible. Look how fast my health regenerates from this mob of ghouls that are attacking me within the Charleston Capitol building. <laughs> that is nuts. And not to mention, this absolutely destroys heavily armored enemies too. Since after all, it's mixed with explosive as well as energy. So it just penetrates right through highly armored enemies. Honestly, that's probably another reason why Bethesda decided to remove the explosive effect off of energy weapons, because it was extremely overpowered. Speaking of extremely overpowered, this ninth weapon that I'm going to be showing y'all is insane. This is the most powerful weapon out of them all. Not the rarest, but the most powerful for sure. As you can see, it's a bloodied explosive plus one perception Gatlin Plasma. Some of you probably already heard about this one. This is the more common one that's been heard about anyways. We can't technically get it anymore because it is an explosive energy weapon, unless of course we trade for it. But a lot of people know about it due to how strong it actually is. A lot of people has talked about this weapon around the community because it absolutely wrecks. Like seriously, you know how I was mentioning how these weapons are able to penetrate highly armored enemies. Well, the explosive rounds mixed with the bloodied effect combined with an energy weapon makes you be able to melt heavily armored enemies. You're able to deal a ridiculous amount of damage fast. Like this thing will seriously melt the Scorch Beast Queen if you have a solid heavy weapon build. Honestly, this legacy weapon here is the most sought after one out of all of these due to it being the most well-known and how powerful it actually is. Now, for this last weapon that I'm going to be showing y'all is the rarest one out of all of these weapons. As you can see, it is a double powerful automatic handmade. The effects on this is plus 250 damage resistance while reloading, which is a great perk to have. Also, it has bullets explode for area damage. And lastly, the rarest perk out of them all, double ammo capacity. There's not many players out there at all who have a double ammo capacity handmade. Like, these are extremely rare to see. Honestly, this handmade is the rarest double weapon out there. I mean, you gotta think about it. Fixers didn't even exist yet when Bethesda took this effect out of the game. Now that I think about it, this is easily one of the rarest handmaids in Fallout 76. There were not many of these that were found before they were taken out of the game. And as you can see, this thing shreds. I also got a suppressor on this just so I can sneak around in my VAT sneak build and just annihilate enemies left and right. And like I was mentioning before, there's no footage at the moment that is of any double ammo capacity weapons on YouTube. I mean, go ahead, try to search for it if you don't believe me. This is the first video showcasing them. I'm showing quite a bit in this video too. So that should explain their rarity even more. And don't get these confused with two shot weapons. I actually made a tweet the other day showing off these weapons and people were saying that they could still get these, but they were getting these confused with two shot weapons. Yes, I know two shots are still available. The double ammo capacity effect is not. It hasn't been since well, the very beginning of the game. 
and it's so nice to be running around with this because you get a lot of ammo in the handmade again. Because as some of you may know in the past, Bethesda did nerf the amount of ammunition that we could hold within the weapon. Now these may be a little bit more common on PC. Don't get me wrong, they're still going to be really rare even on PC, but I do know there's a lot of duplicators and hackers on that platform that has messed up the economy. But on console, you're more than likely never going to see another player with these. There's not that many out there that have these, especially this double ammo capacity handmade. I think there was no more than like five that's been confirmed to have these on console. That's what someone was rumoring to me anyways. He could have been wrong. I do know this was actually being sold for a thousand bucks a while back on Game Flip. It actually sold after so long. So yeah, this is a thousand dollar valued weapon alone. It's pretty crazy to think about. But yeah, I'm out of here though, everyone. Thanks for taking the time watching and listening. And if you found this enjoyable, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like. And hey, if you're new around here, maybe consider giving my channel a chance by sticking around and subscribing for more Fallout 76 content. As always though, all of that is totally up to you. Until next time, everyone, it's been your rifle. Peace.